welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me or if you've never been here before, welcome. My name's Rachel and I'm the owner and creator here at the Eclectic Cottage in Spokane, Washington. Today's Tuesday and I have a thrift haul for you, as you can probably see by the table here beside me. Uh, my husband and I went out junking on Sunday and hit up a few of our favorite haunts, one brand new thrift store that I've never been to before, uh, several yard sales, and uh, throughout the day we managed to find some pretty neat stuff. So I'm excited to show it all to you. Um, I hope you like the video and remember if you do to give it a thumbs up, I so appreciate that. And if you're new here and you haven't already, I would absolutely love it if you think about subscribing to my channel and then just hitting that little notification bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, and if there's a favorite item, I would love to hear what that is at the end of the video so remember to comment below and let me know uh, so anyway I'm not going to take up too much of your time because there's a lot of, lot to get through so we're going to get started so I actually set a table here to my <laughs> to my right so that I can have a place to put some of the stuff so I don't have to put it all down on the floor which should be nice um let's see I'll start with the thing that I bought for me which is this coffee cup um, I always forget mine in the car and so I wanted one for just home so my husband found this one for me. The last one he got was way too tall to fit under our Keurig so this one should work better. So I grabbed that. Um, I found this adorable little owl. He is super cute. He's one of those potpourri things. I'm going to take the potpourri out of it. I don't know what this whole number is about but I'm going to take that off. Um, and I'll just put him out as is. So I just thought he was cute. Um, he was a little bit spendy. It was $3 at Goodwill, but I should be able to make a little bit of money on him. So we'll see. Anyway, so I got that. And the little chicken. I thought this was just cute. Um, it has a little bitty chip right here on the top, but nothing too major. It was only $2. It's a little um, tea light holder. So I thought that was just cute. I'm going to put it out. I think I'm going to bring all my chicken stuff together and make one vignette with all of it at some point. So this will go in that. Uh, so blue tags were 50% off at Goodwill and I found this really cute little apothecary jar, just tiny crystal jar. Um, it was a blue tag at $3. So I got this for $1.50. I just thought it was sweet, um, something cute I can put in the front of a vignette and just add a little bit of um, lower height uh, stuff. So I always like to have small items to kind of put in little nooks and, nooks and crannies and places. Um, I got, now I stopped at one yard sale and the gal, um, apparently she does design pop-ups occasionally and she was getting rid of some of her inventory and since we were there on Sunday everything was 25 cents so there were quite a few of these items that I got for 25 cents each which was great this being one of them um, this big huge amber glass uh, dish so great for fall I'm super excited to have this to be part of my fall display so just really pretty um, vintage amber so grabbed that for 25 cents. Uh, this bean pot was also in her stash for 25 cents. Lids intact. It's in really, really good shape. I am struggling with whether or not to um, put one of the labels from um, one of the recycled decoupage papers on the front of this. Um, but I think I might, so, so we'll see. I have other bean pots in the shop and they don't sell often, um, but I'm thinking maybe a little bit more decorative uh, might help, so we'll see. This little amber bottle was also 25 cents, um, just a cute little uh, bud vase, and so I'm definitely gonna put probably a little label on the front of this just to um, dude it up a little, <laughs> make it cute. So I thought it was sweet. So other 25 cents, both of these guys were on her uh, 25 cent table. Um, so just little milk glass candle holders. Um, I just thought they were pretty. I like milk glass. I know it's kind of out of style for a lot of people, but um, I just think it's pretty. It adds such a nice little pop of white in um, a vignette. So I grabbed those. And then also these, same thing, 25 cents each. 
Um, so this one's actually got a mark on it, the little hobnail um, thing. So I just thought, again, it's just sweet, adds a little bit of height and texture and dimension um, and that pop of white to kind of draw the eye in a vignette. So I grabbed these. Um, this little hanging cherub was also in there for 25 cents. I will probably paint him um, and do something cute with him, but he's got just a little hanger. I, I just thought he was sweet just to um, put on the wall, maybe with another little display, um, something interesting. So I grabbed him. Then, <clears throat> let's see, I think uh, that's it that's, oh, no, this. If I don't break anything, that'd be good. Um, so this little picture was also 25 cents. It's just plain, just clear, but um, I thought it was pretty. I might actually put something in it. I'm really not sure. Um, I might even put a label or a transfer or something on this to just kind of dress it up a little. But uh, for 25 cents, I thought it was worth the, the money. So I grabbed it. And then, so there's a little thrift store right down the road that I've never ever been to before. And they have uh, tables set up outside and they're all, t everything that on the tables is 25 cents as well. So um, these things, I actually got these few things at that thrift store that wasn't on the 25 cent table, but these were, and these look like little teacups, but these are actually party lights, candle holders. So there was a set of two of them with the, with the little trays or saucers <laughs> and then this which looks like a teapot but it, the bottom comes off and so you put your little candle in there um i thought it was just really sweet i love the um the porcelain with this gold it's nice neutral it just really uh, pulls together a little vignette if you have any brass or gold in it and um, I like the neutral colors anyway so I grabbed it for 25 cents I really just couldn't pass it up and then this little teapot was also 25 cents and I don't think it doesn't have any markings on it at all it's just a little very neutral um, teapot so but there's absolutely nothing wrong with it and I just thought it was sweet and I like the neutrals anyway. So, um, so I grabbed it anyway for 25 cents. This thing here, um, I figured I'd put in my little tea display. Uh, this was $5, but, um, I just thought it was kind of cool. So I grabbed it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to paint it maybe give it one solid coat of paint. I don't know if I'm just gonna wash it and put it out the way that it is. We'll see, but um, I just thought it was cool. So I grabbed it. Then canning jars. I do my bouquets of flowers that I bring in. So I have a small flower farm and I bring in flowers. Um, usually on Tuesdays, this morning I forgot my flower buckets though, so I couldn't bring any in today. Um, but normally I bring them in and I make uh, bouquets in canning jars. And if you've shopped for canning jars lately at the store, you know, they're kind of expensive unless you can find them on a really good sale. So I've been trying to find them at like Goodwill and uh, thrift stores and yard sales and that kind of stuff. So I found these guys. These were all, this one was 50 cents for the pint. And then these quarts were all a dollar each, which is about half the price that I have paid uh, recently at the regular store. So um, I grabbed those just for that purpose, just for um, bouquets. This one I grabbed, I'm really not sure if I wanna put a flower bouquet in this one just because I don't know that the colors of flowers that I have would seat really well in a red jar like this, but I thought it was pretty. And um, I thought maybe I would set it aside for Christmas and put it out maybe with some white berries in it for Christmas and some greenery. So we'll see. But, and it was also a um, dollar, it was on the half price thing. So grab that. And the reason I keep be leaning like this is because there's stuff at my feet too that I need to get to. So I grabbed this little beige pot. 
just a cute little plain flower pot, very neutral. It was at half price, it was 99 cents. Um, and since I sell the indoor plants, it's always nice to have pots available for people. This I thought was kind of fun and cute. It's just a little pale, very, very plain. It was $3.99 um, at the Goodwill. I think that um, one of the transfers, uh, the label transfers would be really sweet on here. So that's probably something like what I'm gonna do with this. So we'll see, but I'm definitely gonna do something to it. Then I got this vase. This was $4. This is false graph, so it's very high quality. Um, it's just a really pretty color. I love the greens, especially with fall coming. I just thought this was a super cool vase. It's got all that lovely detail in it. So I might, I've actually ordered some um, florals in some different neutral colors that are kind of fall. And so I might put this out and put some neutral florals in it for my fall display. And then y'all saw the wall pocket that I did uh, last go round, and so I grabbed this this one. Um, it's got this lovely detail again on the front, which is so fun to paint and distress back to. Um, so, and it's got this neat detail up here. Um, so that should be a fun uh, makeover. And it was half price, so it was six dollars originally. So I got it for three. So that was good. So grab that. I'm gonna do this one because I need to get it out of the way. <laughs> so this is uh, just a piece of wall art. Um, I think you could pretty much hang it either way. Um, it's got a little dangly crystal here. Um, so maybe it's supposed to go this way. I don't know, because there's no dangly crystal up here. I might actually just take this one off so because no one would ever know the difference. But um, it was 99 cents at Goodwill, and so I got it. It was half price, so I got it for 50 cents. And I just thought it was kind of cute to hang on the wall, like I said, either this way or that way. Um, if you had a really cute picture um, that was about that size, it would look really nice next to it. So um, anyway, so I grabbed it. Set that there. Stay. So I'm going to show you this because I can put things on it as I'm showing them to you. So I grabbed this. My husband really was like, why are you getting that? It was $8, which was a little bit much. But I thought this was the coolest little plant stand. It's galvanized metal on top, and then it's got these legs on the bottom. So definitely going to paint the legs a different color. Um, it's in good shape. I mean, it's, it's a sturdy little um, unit, but I don't know that I'm going to do anything with this other than just clean it up really good. I kind of like the... Uh, vintagey look to it that it already has um, so like I said I might just leave this alone and do something fun with the legs so we'll see but I, like I said I thought it was just kind of a cute little um, plant stand that you could put in the corner somewhere um, or you could use it for candles or even a lamp if you wanted so it's just kind of a cute little thing so that's that then I grabbed this bottle um, just basically to put a label on from uh, from the recycled paper. So that'll be in a future video. But uh, it was normally four dollars they had on this bottle. Luckily, it was half price, so I only paid two. So grab that. And then these boxes. I know they say Happy Easter, hippity hoppity Easter. Um, and then this one, same thing. <laughs> but. I thought this would be a great opportunity again for decoupage paper or a transfer or something pretty. So I grabbed both of these. They fit inside each other nicely. So the bottom of this one um, has some pretty serious issues. So I don't really know. And it's the way that it's made. I don't think I can actually really fix it well. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to definitely paint it. Um, glue down a couple spots where it's kind of um, coming up a little bit so hopefully I can fix it it was only $1.99 so I thought it was worth a shot so we'll see so I grabbed those so that was basically one of the big things I was looking for were opportunities to use some of the recycled papers that I just got in so um, that was why I was excited for those Anyway, I grabbed this little chicken on a stick, <laughs> so I thought he was pretty cute. Um, honestly, Goodwill's price at $1.99 for this was pretty good. Um, 
I'm probably going to take this bit of raffia off of here. I might replace and do something different, um, but it's kind of tatty uh, and just kind of falling apart. And then I haven't decided yet if I want to just paint him, but I have a couple other little, um, I've got a chicken and a pig that are kind of the similar style. And so I might paint all three things to go together at some point. So we'll see. But for $1.99, I thought it was definitely worth it. So I grabbed him. So this was one of my favorite things I got just because it's cute. I'm really seriously considering keeping it for myself. I don't normally drink coffee out of ceramic just because it gets too cold too fast, but I thought this was so cute. It's a nice heavy cup, but it's cute as a little owl. So, and I love this color. This is one of my favorite colors for $2. So um, I grabbed it. I don't know. I, I, I might keep it. We'll see. <laughs> so anyway. Then I grabbed these. Um, they're really nothing hugely special, but they are heavy glass. I have to imagine they're hand blown. Um, and again, they were blue tags, so they were half off. So I got this set for 99 cents. And I just thought for just, again, something small to put in the front of a vignette, they're always nice to have, or even just staging items. So I grabbed those. Then, oh, uh, let's see, this is, Francoma pottery, which is probably my favorite type of pottery. I always look for this brand anytime I'm shopping anywhere. Uh, they had $6 on it, but being Francoma, I can definitely get my money out of it because it's it's worth a little bit. Um, anyway, I just, I love the colors that they use. I love the sheen of this pottery. Um, it almost has kind of a matte effect to it, which I really like. Um, so I, I'm a big fan. So I grabbed this and I just sold my, my last piece of Francoma that was in the, the cottage, uh, last week. So <laughs> I needed something. So I found that. And then let's see this lamp. Um, I know you guys have seen me do a couple lamps and so this one will definitely get a makeover at some point. I have shades already so I'm sure I can find a shade for it. I'm going to have to get the little um, thing that goes in here for it so we'll see. What are you doing? Um, anyway, but this was in the uh, yard sale for 25 cents so hopefully it works. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, so there's that. You get down. Get off the table. Get down. Come on. Okay. She thinks she needs to be involved in everything, so <laughs> she just makes herself a pest occasionally. That's okay. Anyway, so I grabbed these. Um, they look like antiqued copper. Um, they're, I just love the patina on them. Definitely not going to paint these at all. I just like them the way they are. They were $4 a piece. Um, Originally, from wherever they came from, they were 15, so, um, but I just thought they were so pretty uh, and aged nicely, so I grabbed those guys, and then I got these two. Um, they're metal, so they're nice and heavy. Um, these were half price, so this one was $2, and this one was $1.50, so I grabbed those. These will probably get a paint job. Um, can you gosh darn it. I guess I'll just leave her there <laughs> anyway and then this one was $2.99 and it it's unfortunate that I couldn't find another one a different size I like usually if I'm gonna buy something like this to find um, a pair of them but this is the only one I could find but I like the shape so I grabbed it and it'll probably get a paint job at some point please make yourself at home <laughs> so more boxes that I found. These were all at the 25 cent yard sale. So I figured again, just a really good opportunity on these for some paint and uh, maybe a label or something cute. So I grabbed three of those. And then this one, um, again, just uh, that good opportunity for some kind of a little decor. So grabbed all of those. Um, these were also at the 25 cent yard sale. I'm, I have to be careful because the back is coming off the other one, but they're just really pretty frames. Um, the glass does, this one doesn't have any glass that came with it. 
um, but I'm sure I can do something with it. And then this one has the glass, but the whole back of it is kind of coming off. So I have to be really careful, but you can see same kind of textural detail, which is lovely for painting and then distressing. So that is probably what will happen there. Set that down so it doesn't break. And then found this basket at a yard sale for $2. I thought it was just cute. Um, we have at the Bohemian, we have a wall display where we hang baskets on the wall. And uh, I thought this would be really pretty on the wall. So that's what I got for that for. Uh, and then this frame was also one of the 25 cent items. Now the unfortunate thing with this is that when I was stocking all my stuff to make this video, everything fell off of my chair and it broke. So it's, it's broken right there, you can see. So I'm hoping with some um, E6000 glue, I can put this back together. But you can see it used to be gold under here, and then somebody painted it this kind of gray color. Um, I am probably, I'm gonna definitely repaint it, but then I might go over it with some gold gilding wax to bring back the look of that gold again. So um, we'll see. First I have to try gluing it and making sure that it's stable before I put any time and effort into it. Thankfully, it was only 25 cents, so if, if worst case happens and I can't fix it, then at least I'm not out a bunch of money. So let's see. This was also 25 cents. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna paint this. I think I'm just gonna clean it up and um, give it a good bath and then put it out, but I thought it was kinda cute. And then this painting I found at the Goodwill. Um, this was $4. I thought it was super sweet. I'm gonna definitely paint the wood, um, but I liked the colors of the mat. Um, and I like birds, you know, like I like birds. I've got several birds in the cottage already. So I thought this was a, a good um, opportunity for some paint. I'll probably paint it as some sort of a folly kind of color, the frame, just because I am getting things ready for fall vignettes um, so not necessarily an orange but maybe like a peachy yellow or something like that so we'll see so, there's that then I got this art that I thought was just beautiful and I even really kind of like the color frame of frame the way that it is so I don't honestly know that I'm going to do anything to this other than clean it really well and then put it out. So this was $8 at the Goodwill. Um, I do sell quite a bit of art um, here at the cottage, so it's always nice to have. I love them as shelf sitters behind decor, um, so that's usually what I use them for. So this will be great for out there. Set that there. Stay. And then this piece of art as well. Very simple, um, but again, I like the colors. I like the frame. I don't think that I really need to do anything to this. Um, it can go out just the way that it is, other than cleaning. Um, and this was only $6. Uh, so, yeah, I thought it was just pretty. And then, let's see, that's it for the table. So I got these two canisters at the Goodwill. Um, this one was only $3.99. And then there was the bigger one was also $3.99. Um, I haven't looked inside this one. They're, I don't know how old they are. The tops are a little bit bowed. Um, but I thought they were so pretty just a great opportunity for a, a different paint and then distressing, um, just really cute. Um, honestly, I kind of like the red and I was thinking for Christmas time, this would be kind of adorable. Um, I might actually do black though, we'll see, because my Christmas colors are supposed to be like a black, a light brown and a sage green 
um, for the main part of my um, Christmas display. So red isn't really a color that goes in there. Um, so I might do something a little different with these, but I just thought they were pretty. Um, and again, something cool. My husband's like, well, I wouldn't put food in there. But I told him, I said, you know, in a craft room, if you had like ribbons or um, fabric stuff that you just wanted to put away somewhere <laughs> where you didn't want to look at it. I mean, everybody's got those things that you just want to put away in a box or a jar or something and not have to see, but have something pretty that it's in. This would work for that. So that's why I grabbed them. And then... I got this lovely wreath. I thought this was just kind of pretty. Uh, it's very Christmas, um, but it was only $4. It's in really, really good shape, although this fell off of it, so I'm going to have to figure out where this goes in here and put it back. But um, other than that, it, it's just, it's in really good shape. The thing I like about it is the greens that are in here are pretty quality. They're not the super, super cheapy um, dollar store type green. So that's basically why I grabbed it. So don't have to do anything to it other than give it a good wash and it'll be ready to go for Christmas. So I'm going to leave that tucked in here so I don't lose it. So that was that. And then this is the last piece of decor. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm going to do with this. This isn't normally things are screwed on through the back. Uh, this must be glued in here, so it's not like I can take this off, clean this, and paint it, and then put this back on. So I might have to tape this off so that I can do something with the rest of it or just be really careful, but I thought it was pretty. It's got a couple little um, places where it's been damaged, uh, but nothing too bad. But for, it was $6, I figured I could fix it up and make it pretty. So that's what I'm going to do with that. I'm sure it'll be in a future video and that is it for the decor and the last thing I'll show you was something just for the shop um it's just a weed eater so but I need a weed eater for here really badly <laughs> so we've been looking at yard sales and stuff and most of the ones we see are gas powered and I don't know if you've ever used a gas powered weed eater um, we used to have one and I hated it because it was a pain to start and then I'd have to remember it was the mixed fuel so we had to have special fuel for it and it stunk and I just and it was heavy uh, and I just really didn't like it so um, we had a battery operated one but the thing with those is if you forget to charge your battery or your batteries die then you're stuck this is electric so I just plug it in the only thing I have to worry about is actually um, weed eating my cord because I've been known to um, run over my cords before so I just have to be careful not to electrocute myself because that would be bad <laughs> but anyway we'll see how it works hopefully the main thing for me is out front I've got sidewalk and in all the cracks the weeds grow up and it takes forever to sit there and try and pull all those little bitty weeds out of the cracks so it's much easier to just get them with the weed eater and be done so hopefully that'll work <laughs> so anyway but that's it for today and then you know you're salty uh, she's got to be center of attention so you know but she's getting the run of the place um down she's only broken one thing so far so <laughs> that's good so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video um and if you did please again remember to give it a thumbs up thanks for watching i so appreciate you being here uh for friday i'm really not sure exactly what friday's video is going to look like i've got a ton of different projects in the works but i don't know if i'm gonna have any of those done by friday so i might just have to pull some small stuff and to just to get done so i have something to show you guys on friday i'm currently working on a dresser and i forgot how long it takes to actually um strip and sand an entire dresser down and i spent um most of my day here yesterday uh getting it stripped and i got the drawers sanded but now I have the body to sand and I haven't even had a chance to put it all back together so I can figure out what I want to do with it yet. So I doubt that's going to be ready for Friday. So anyway, we'll see. I will think of something I always do. So I hope you'll join me here on Friday for whatever I come up with. 
Uh, and again, if you haven't yet, I would love it if you would think about subscribing to my channel. Uh, that way you don't, you know, you can catch all of the craziness that happens here in my kitchen at the cottage. Uh, and then just hit that little uh, notification bell so you don't miss anything. And remember to let me know which of today's items was your favorite out of all of them. And again, I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you back here on Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.